This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1579, an excerpt from the book, The Bright Way, Five Steps to Freeing the Creative Within by Diana Rowan, and I'm Justin Mollick. Welcome back to Optimal Living Daily or the OLD podcast where I read to you from some of the best blogs I can find and get permission from, sometimes books too, which is the case today. But before we get to it, small business owners wear a lot of hats, and while some hats are great, others like the filing taxes and running payroll hat, not so great. That's where Gusto comes in. Gusto makes payroll, taxes, and managing a team actually easy for small businesses. Gusto automatically pays and files your federal, state, and local taxes so that you don't have to worry about it. Plus, they make it easy to add on health benefits and even 401ks for your team. And we can get direct access to certified HR experts too. Sounds like a pretty good way to run your business, right? But here's the thing, you're gonna wanna get started now. Don't wait, let Gusto make it easier on you. They have for me. As a bonus, listeners get three months free when they run their first payroll. This is one hat you're gonna be glad you gave up like I did. Try a demo and see for yourself at gusto.com slash old. That's G-U-S-T-O dot com slash O-L-D. For now, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. An excerpt from the book, The Bright Way, Five Steps to Freeing the Creative Within by Diana Rowan. I've learned from decades of teaching and creating that mindset is everything. By mindset, I mean what you believe body, mind, spirit about yourself and about what's possible for you. Simply put, if you believe you can do something, you can. If you don't believe you can do something, you can't. If you place limitations of any sort on yourself, I have to tell you, they will play out. While this might sound scary, the opposite is also true. If you adopt a mindset of possibility, growth, and unlimited potential, your life will blossom in response. This is the mindset I invite you to adopt on our path. The Bright Way will ask you to change your mindset on many things, always from a compassionate place of love, growth, and connection, so that your life reflects your innermost dreams. You'll have the opportunity to let go of old ways of thinking and being that have held back your creativity until now. Changing your mindset is exhilarating, liberating, and yes, rigorous. This is why part one of this book is called Invitation and Initiation. It prepares you to take the five bright way steps explored in part two by gently initiating you into the philosophy first. I hope you receive this invitation wholeheartedly and voluntarily. You are in charge on this path. There are no gatekeepers on the bright way, no bosses. It is your courage that urges you on. Propelled by your courage, you'll self-initiate into the great secrets of creativity that have been known throughout the ages. You are here because you heeded the call. Creativity is connection. When you create, you connect. As you engage with your chosen activity, you become one with it. We've learned from physics that when we interact with something, we change it. This interaction is connection made manifest, sparked by your direct engagement. When we make our mark on something through creative engagement, we see our true selves reflected back. This mirroring gives us a deep sense of belonging and meaning. Our existence is affirmed. We know that we matter. Our confidence is restored. Your entry point to this way of life is what you already possess, your creativity. This is why creativity matters in and of itself. It is a reflection of you that literally makes you feel more, well, you. It confirms your place in the world. It acknowledges your dignity and your right to exist and everyone else's simply because you're alive. Creativity reminds you that you are worthy in and of yourself. Therefore, it is the act of being creative that matters most, not the products of your creativity because creativity has no agenda beyond life affirmation through connection. All tangible side effects such as glorious works of art, inspiring performances, and brilliant innovations are magnificent blessings and encouragements yet they all spring from the same source, life affirmation. Keep focused on this primary matter, this first principle, and your creativity process will flourish. Disconnection is one of the most terrifying sensations we experience as human beings. Think of the immediate and intense distress babies feel when separated from their parents. When we get disconnected, we feel horribly unsafe. Disconnection doesn't have to be dramatic to have an impact. Simply feeling set apart from others in everyday life can trigger extreme anxiety and depression. Disconnection from our true selves is perhaps the most frightening of all when, severed from source energy itself, we wonder if life has any meaning. Our survival as human beings depends on being connected. 
The reality is most of us wouldn't last more than a few days alone in the forest. Surviving, let alone thriving, demands creativity. Humans are not endowed with protective fangs or formidable physical strength. We don't even run very fast relative to other creatures. Our superpower is our spectacular creativity. It's our adaptability rather than our strength or intellect alone that has allowed us to survive. Creativity is by its nature ever-changing. Adapting to the present situation, creativity then elaborates on it, bringing forth ever more vital expressions of life force. The circle of life turns, creativity affirming life, life sparking creativity. Our creativity has protected humanity through millennia of radical change. Creativity urged us to evolve. If we wanna keep evolving, if we wanna further our individual and collective life force, we must stay creative. All this points to creativity's grandest message. Life is worth affirming and amplifying because it is the energy of connection, love, made manifest. Many types of therapy aim to reconnect us to the world, to ourselves, to our source. Astounding breakthroughs can happen when we reestablish the connections in our lives. As neuroscientist Candace Pert affirms, quote, love is an integrator and a healer, but you have to do the work to love yourself and you can start by loving others. That's the core of human health, end quote. Engaging your innate creativity is one of the quickest, safest, most available, satisfying, and positive ways to do this. As above, so below. Reclaim your creativity, reclaim your life. On The Bright Way, it is an article of faith that you aren't broken. The Bright Way doesn't try to fix you, rather it reminds you of who you truly are. By being creative, by actively engaging in your life, you will remember who you are. Welcome to the magnificence of your true self. Welcome home. You just listened to an excerpt from the book, The Bright Way, Five Steps to Freeing the Creative Within by Diana Rowan. Diana's a professional harpist with an MM in classical piano performance and a PhD in music theory. She's also the founder of Bright Knowledge Guild. That's an online creative community that offers students around the world access to her Bright Way system. Find out more about her work at dianarowan.com. That's spelled R-O-W-A-N. And don't forget, Gusto offers modern, easy payroll and benefits to small businesses across the country. If you want your business to be all set up by 2020, you don't wanna wait. Get in touch now and get three months free when you run your first payroll. Just go to gusto.com slash old. That's G-U-S-T-O dot com slash O-L-D. All right, I'll leave it at that. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being here and listening to me and for subscribing to the show. And I'll be back tomorrow reading to you, so I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.